There is no forward move into the top of the new turn. Now, before we get into any details, let's first get on the same page about a couple things. First, terrain. We are talking about moderate to steep terrain and not about moderate to flat terrain. On moderate to flat terrain, there are some exotic maneuvers that incorporate a forward move into the turn. However, those are gonna be a topic for discussion in another video. Second, turn choice. In all the examples in this video, both Ted Ligeti and I will be on 180-ish skis, about 85 to 104 millimeters underfoot, and we're both gonna be making pulling radius type turns, where we're both fully bending the ski and remaining weighted through the completion of the turn. We are both skiing fast and not necessarily trying to generate speed. I specify that because any skier of any size on any size ski can make these types of turns. Whether you're on a 155 slalom ski, a 195 GS, or a mid-fat ski, they will obviously all work when you try to make this turn. You just gotta vary your turn shape. So with those parameters in mind, let's begin. This is from a spring day, 2023. I am on a Blizzard Peacemaker, 104 underfoot, twin tip. Um, I love these skis for carving, and right here, that move right there, that transition coming into the camera is why I decided to make this video. I've been saying for a long time that there is no forward move into the top of the turn and I've gotten a lot of pushback. So now here's a video of me on some steep blue terrain in the afternoon after some snow, so it's very bumpy and visibility is extremely low. And you can see that I'm still able to achieve super sweet high edge angle turns in these conditions because I'm not moving my hips. I'm trying to keep my upper body as stacked and solid over my hips as absolutely possible while my feet go out and do all the work. I never use those hips to move anywhere. I want them to move as little as possible so that I can stay balanced the whole way down and then focus on the pressure that I'm exerting out to the outside of the ski. Now here's a clip of Ted Ligeti shooting follow cam of me. I'm making my turns. He's able to match my turns perfectly and actually flow through the movement pattern quite nicely. Obviously, he's Ted Ligeti. And I show that because now we're gonna look at Ted Ligeti free skiing, trying to do some of his more high end turns. Here he's on an 85 underfoot, 180 ish ski, 17 ish meter radius, and watch his hips. There is no forward move moving into the turn. He's balanced, he's keeping his torso very upright and relaxed over those hips. Okay, he's letting the feet swing out. Now, the hips are going forward and backward relative to the feet, but I would argue that it's the feet moving forward and now forward under it, now back, and now forward under it, and back, and really it's the hips staying in one spot while the feet are making a fore, aft, fore, aft, fore, aft movement as he moves through his transition. However, he's not trying to push forward through the hip at all. He is standing over a strong outside ski and pushing his way across the hill. <laughs> well, there it is. If you are at speed and pulling radius, there is no forward movement to the turn. It is more important that you're balancing the weight of your torso over your hips and keeping that steady and inside of your turns than it is to move around that mass and try and generate any extra speed. So the next time you're out there skiing, focus on keeping your torso super balanced, super stable over stable hips, not really trying to move them anywhere and let your feet extend in and out of turns underneath you and find that radius and keep that pressure on the ski through the whole turn. And for the first time in your life, you really might be pulling radius like Ted Ligeti and myself are in these clips. Thank you for watching and please consider a donation to my Venmo or PayPal account. Ski Dad TV educational content is a value for value proposition and if you're getting some value out of this video and the other ones like it, then please consider a donation. Please like and subscribe and as always, keep shredding it.